Good morning. Great day. Good morning, everybody. We're excited that another day, and we're glad you're joining us today and for 21 for 21 Bayside's Daily Word. And it's a gorgeous day. The sun's trying to come out. It's a, it's a rainy day, but I love to listen to the rain and I miss the rain. I grew up with rain. And so here in Southern California, it hardly ever rains. So we're enjoying it today and it's a great day. I'm excited that you're on here with us today and a um, uh, beautiful day. Another day, this is, um, we're f over halfway through um, the 21 for 21 and um, I believe we're on uh, day 11 and um, so uh, maybe day 12, it is day 12. So great day and we're excited. Today's word is victory, victory. And um, what a great word and our, our scripture for today is 1 Chronicles 29 and 11. And um, the ERV says, Greatness, power, glory, victory, and honor belong to you because everything in heaven and on earth belongs to you. The kingdom belongs to you. You are the head, the ruler over everything. And one thing I like that the King James also put in there was majesty is his. Everything. We can have victory in Jesus today. And, and so we're going to share few things today to how to live a victorious life, how to live in victory and victory. You know, that's, that's a great thing. We are Christians. We are victorious. Oh no, we may run into things and we may fight some battles and things, but we can be victorious. And someone several years ago, I, I just kept it because I liked it sent me a list of seven things and uh, seven ups in life. And um, so kind of, I, I, so that's kind of what I want to share with you today. I kind of have taken it and expanded on it, but I want to give you seven ups in your life today, things that can help you to live a victorious life, help you to live in victory. There's no reason why we can't be victorious. No matter what's happening, God is with us and with God, all things are possible. So for the first thing I would tell you, the first up is wake up. Every morning you decide that today is a good day. It's your choice. I woke up this morning and I had to make the choice. It's a great day. It's raining. We don't get much rain. I'm going to be happy because I love the rain. I miss the rain. So I'm going to be happy on a cold, rainy SoCal morning. Why? Because I decided today is going to be a good day. Psalms 118, 24 says, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Other versions say, be happy. Happy. Happy is notifying your face. So another version says, let's celebrate. Let's be festive. Another one says, we'll rejoice and we'll celebrate in it. Another said, let us be happy. Let's celebrate. So today, when you decide every morning, wake up and say, it's a great day. I'm going to celebrate today. No matter what happens, as we talked about a few days ago, that we should look in the mirror every day and say, there's nothing that's going to happen to me today that me and God can't handle together. So what's the first up is wake up, decide it's a great day. The second one is dress up. 
Now, I'm not talking about, I like to dress nice, I like all that, but the best way to dress up is to smile. Smile. A smile is an inexpensive way to improve your looks. Smile. Uh, Proverbs 17, uh, 22, the Amplified says, A happy heart is good medicine, and a joyful mind causes healing. When you decide it's a great day, I'm going to put on a smile. First thing, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to wake up happy, and I'm going to smile, and I'm going to have a great day. That means it's good medicine for your soul, no matter in the midst of whatever, because there's a connection between what you believe and your joy. If you decide it's a good day, I, and you know what? You're going to have a good day. If you make up in your mind, the scripture says, serve the Lord with gladness. So smile. A smile's contagious. People need your smile. I, I, you know, came to Southern California. I'm a Southern girl. God knew I was a Southern girl. So he at least put me in Southern California. And I, I, in the South, you know, people speak to each other all the time. Well, out here in Southern California, they could take you or leave you. But I walk our dog every day and I try to walk around four miles every day. And so I'm out going and, and when I see people, I smile. I say, hello, how are you today? So now our neighbors, they're like, hey, you know, why? Because a smile is contagious. And when you're friendly, people will be friendly. So you know what I'd say today? Get your happy on. Smile. I choose joy. Happiness is more than a choice. It's a weapon. Nehemiah 8 and 10 says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. When we have joy, it's going to show. And it's going to, a little uh, song I sang as a little kid in Sunday school, it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling down in me. And I can't remember the rest of the words, but it came to me right now. Because when it's bubbling, it's going to come through. And it's going to show up in your life. Life. So I tell you today, wake up, decide it's a great day, dress up, put on a smile. And the third up, the third up is shut up. Now I grew up in a home, we didn't say shut up. And for sure didn't say it to my parents. And it just wasn't allowed. And you know what, but what we're talking today about shut up, and I would say it today, shut up, is quit your negative talk. Get rid of the mental clutter that's clouding your mind and your thinking. Philippians 4 and 8 says, fix your thoughts on what is true, what is honorable, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. You have to think on these things. You have to train your mind to get away from being negative. People don't like negative people. I don't want to talk to somebody that's negative. I usually just, hey, it's a great day. God bless you. And try to get some good negative vibes going there. Because you need to adopt the attitude of positive thinking. Positive talking. It works. Decide, you know what? I'm going to be all day today. I'm not going to be negative. I'm going to think on those good things. I'm going to dwell on that and it will come out of you. So I tell you today, shut up. Shut up the negative talking, the negative thing and get positive and decide it's going to be a great day. So here we are, the fourth thing, the fourth up that I would give you today is stand up. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand for something or you're going to fall for anything. Ephesians 6 and 11 tells us, put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. 1 Corinthians 16 and 13 says, be on alert. Stand firm firm in the faith. Act like a man or a woman and be strong. 
You know what? You have to decide, okay, I'm waking up today. It's a great day. I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to dress up today because I'm putting on my smile and show those pearly whites and then decide I'm going to shut up today. I'm not going to talk negative. I'm going to be positive. And then I'm going to stand up and I'm going to stand up for what's right and for what I believe in. Galatians 6, 9 and 10 said, us, let us not be weary in doing good for at the proper time, we're going to reap harvest if we don't give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good. So you know what? Let us Decide, I'm going to make a difference in somebody's life today. My smile, me deciding that the joy of the Lord is going to come shining through me. So I'm going to be happy. I'm going to rejoice. And then the fifth one, the fifth up is look up. Look up, look to God. Nothing is going to happen, as I said a little earlier. Nothing's going to happen to me today that me and God can't handle together. So I'm going to look to God. Psalms 23 and 1 says, I will lift up mine eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. One of my favorite scriptures, Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. How do I get that strength? I look up and say, God, you are my strength. You're going to help me. It's a great day because I've already started off saying, I'm going to smile today. I'm going to be happy. It's my choice. So it's your choice to say, I'm going to look up. I'm going to follow after what God has for me. And then the sixth one, the sixth is reach up, reach up, constantly go for something higher, keep going for greater things, decide I'm going to make my life better. Today, I can live and live in happiness and live in joy. I'm looking up and I'm not only going to look up, I'm going to reach up because if you decide I'm going for greater things. I don't want to get stuck in a rut. And I think I've mentioned it on these, these daily words is I remember when I was young, my dad preached a message and, he, and I wish I could have, I may be in all of his notes, we'll come across it. But the notes were of, of his, this message says, it takes guts to get out of a rut. And you know what? I don't want to stay in a rut. I want to reach for things higher. Proverbs 6 or 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. When you're looking up and you're reaching up, He's going to lead you. And you know what? I'm going to challenge you today. I'm going to challenge you today on this Friday. I'm going to challenge you today for the next seven days to decide I'm going to live a positive life. So you know what? I'm waking up. I'm deciding every day. It's my choice that I'm going to be happy. I'm going to celebrate. It's a great day. And I'm going to dress up because I'm putting on my big smile. And then I'm shutting up the negative talk. I'm going to speak positive positive things. I'm going to stand for some things that I believe in and I'm going after it. And then I'm going to look up to you, God, because my help comes from you. And then, you know, God, I'm going to reach up and I'm going to reach out and I challenge you to keep reaching. You know, Paul said, I press for the mark of the higher calling. How do you go for the higher calling? You have to reach up for it. And if Paul was pressing, you know, you can't just kind of press like this. You've got to push and reach and do because things move and you got to keep pushing and reaching. So it's lifting and reaching up. I'm going to keep reaching for higher things. And that's how God's going to make a difference and things will happen in your life. And the last, 
Number seven, the last of our, our ups, of our seven ups today is lift up. Lift up your prayers. Pray. Philippians 4, 6 it says, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. I pray about everything. And I watch God move. Nobody can steal your victory unless you give them permission. I'm going to say that again. Nobody can steal your victory unless you give them permission. That includes the enemy. That includes the devil. Hey, if you decide today's a great day and oh no, Satan, you may fight, you may do, but you know what? I'm going to be victorious today. You don't give someone else the keys to your victory. Don't let somebody else have it because your happiness, your victory is your choice. Happiness is a choice. Happiness is a weapon. Nehemiah 8 and 10 says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. There's strength in being happy. There's strength in smiling. There's strength in all of that. Because once you start living a positive life, once you start living and making these choices, you're going to watch. I'm stronger. I'm happy today. It's a great day. And you know what I'd say today? It, the sun's coming out. So when I get a chance today, I'm going to get, get my walking shoes on. I'm going to get out in between the rain and all of that. I'm going to get out and enjoy today. Open up the blinds every morning. I, that's one of the first things I do when I get up. I go open up and make sure our house is open, that the sun can come in in and, and let it in because there is power in that. So I would share today, today's word is victory. And how can we have victory in these seven ups? Number one, wake up. You decide. It's a great day. I decide today. I'm going to celebrate today. I'm going to be happy. What's the second one? Dress up. How do you dress up? The best way to dress up is to smile. Smile right now. You know what? It's, it's, it's contagious because a smile is an inexpensive way to improve your looks. What's the third one? Shut up. You're like, oh, oh. Shut up. Shut up the negative talk. Get rid of that clutter in your mind. Decide I'm going to be positive because I'm happy. What's the fourth one? Stand up. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand firm. God, you've given me this day. I'm going to stand firm that I'm going to be positive and I'm going to enjoy it and I choose to be happy. What's the fifth one? Look up. Look to God. God, you're with me. I'll lift up my eyes into the hills. Where? Because that's where my help comes from. And then number six, Reach up, keep reaching for higher things, reaching for God and reaching for better things in your life. Better yourself today. You know what? If you've always wanted to go back to school, reach up and start trying to work on that. Do something today to step into more positive things. And the last one, number seven, lift up, pray. Keep going after God. Lift and say, God, I need you because nobody, and I'm going to say it again, nobody can steal your victory today unless you let them. The key to your happiness is you. Don't give the key to somebody else. Somebody may wrong you, but you know what? You make the choice and say, they're not going to get my victory. Oh yeah, devil, you got me on that when you put a left hook or a right hook and all of that. But you know what? I've gone still victorious. I got back up because I am going to be victorious today. It's a great day. I pray that you take these seven ups and make it part of your life and say, I'm going to live in victory. You can do it. And as I close today, there's a very special lady watching here. 
and today is her 90th birthday. And you know what? If y'all could just write a little love on there. Happy birthday, Sister Virginia Simrall. She is one of my intercessors. She prayed for me in my home church in West Monroe, Louisiana. I get texts from her almost every day with emojis. She's such an inspiration. 90 years old today. God bless you, Sister Virginia. She lives in victory every day. She has a smile. And we love you, Sister Virginia, and thank you. Happy birthday. You know what? Join with me. Let's let's just do something. You know what? I, I'm not a great singer, but you know what? I'm just going to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sister Virginia. Happy birthday to you. All right. And 90 pennies in that penny march. God bless each of you. Have a great day. Live in victory today with these seven ups. Thank you for joining today. Pastor will be on in the morning at 830 for our 21 for 21. God bless. Have an amazing day. I love you.